Hello there Sagittarius and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing well out there. Oh, okay. Let's see what's going on here. You're destined to succeed. We have authority and diplomacy. So we do have you being in the king position. Oh, and also your secrets are safe. So don't worry about things. Don't hesitate. Don't fear anything. Don't give any um, stresses to people or situations that don't need to suck your energy, okay? Because you are destined to succeed and really achieve and master something here. And yes, I do see a situation where you're either in this position of leadership or you're coming into that, okay? So there's a lot of power and a lot of um, powerful energy that's surrounding you at this time. You could also be guided to someone that is very fair and fortunate, uh, that may either be a mentor, a guide, a partner, friend, lover, however they show up, there's a lot of respect, okay? Uh, because you're doing something that is calling a lot of respect and I feel attention, actually, Sagittarius. So let's continue and see what else you need to know when it comes to your situation. Wow. Whoa. Okay. 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 We got the emperor here too. Aries is coming through with this emperor energy here. Logic and organization will increase your success. And look at the first card that came out here. You're destined to succeed. Well, the first two cards, both cards of success and achievement. Take charge of the situation. Don't be afraid to take charge of a situation. You know, don't wait for things. If you you know, if you know what you need to do, do it, right? Especially if it um, it helps you become more organized and logical. Maybe, you, maybe you're needing to detach your feelings from certain situations or people so that you can see clearly or think clearly at this time, or, or maybe you're just remaining objective. Because I'm, I'm sensing King of Swords actually coming through with this Emperor. So... That's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. Anyhow, accept a, accept a leadership role. See? Oh my goodness. I love it. Structure and discipline is all that you need to stay successful. So don't be afraid to implement that um, and to stay true on your path. And maybe there is something about staying mentally focused right now. And that could cause you to be, you know, ha or have to be more disciplined because, you know, that take that does take a lot of effort, especially if, you know, we're being drained by other things or situations, but I'm also seeing a really powerful guardian uh, angel here too. I see Archangel Michael actually coming through with this emperor here. So there's something about you um, knowing and feeling that protection as well. Okay, so I feel that Archangel Michael uh, always presents himself when there's a, a need for one to be strong and courageous and you know, and also not to be afraid to communicate clearly, right? Especially when it comes to directing things, having to get things done. And you're more than capable of doing that. Some of you could also be dealing with someone in authority of power, possibly a father figure as well, or you soon will be. Okay, so let's continue and see what else you need to know for Sagittarius. Ooh, we got this thing about being aware of who you trust. Boy, and you even have this thing about your secrets are safe. We got the wolf here. Okay, so let's get more about this too. I'm getting something about, uh, um, you know, I don't know, deception possibly here. So let's see what spirit will give us with this wolf. Uh, be aware of who you trust. Okay, so let's see. Because, you know, you are destined to succeed here. So you may need to keep some of your plans or taking charge of a situation to yourself. That way you have more, I don't know, it seems like you would have more control that way because then it doesn't have time to leak out in, in a sense, you know? Okay, let's get a little bit more with the uh, wolf energy here. Beware of who you trust. And see more reasons why our, uh, Archangel Michael would be here as your protector. Oh, jealousy leads to downfall. 
Okay, okay, this is really important. This seems to be in the energy lately, actually. There, there seems to be this, you know, underlying snake-like energy at play or something where hidden emotions or hidden jealousy could be at play where you don't know, okay? So you, you, hmm. yeah, you, you may need to just, you know, have your own little celebrations, especially when you are having successes perhaps it's just better that way because you you know the thing is is not everyone is going to be happy for your successes you know there could be a, a sense of control manipulation with this so just be careful and cautious listen to your intuition when it comes to you know the feelings you're getting about someone keep your dreams your visions your plans to yourself i just feel that you need to for right now okay and if you need to tell anyone, tell God and Jesus and your angels, right? Because your secrets are safe. Hmm. This won't resonate for all of you. This won't resonate for all of you, I guarantee it. But I did hear this. I heard something about watch out for spies and vicious lies. But it's like, don't give in to that. I mean, because it's all, it all, because when you look at the root of it, it just comes, it just stems from jealousy. You know, there could be some weird behaviors that's going on that just really is rooted from jealousy. Um, you know, and, and that's when we have to be very strong and masterful. We have to have, you know, a sense of fairness and being objective. Remember, we were talking about that as well. And just have compassion that, you know, unfortunately, there are just situations in people and, and even oneself at times where we just go through periods where it's hard to be happy, especially if you're not happy, right? So that's really the root of everything too, is just, you know, not, um, not cultivating love and happiness, but we do have to go through periods of darkness and shadows and that's just to bring more enlightenment um, and success and wisdom and experience to, uh, you know, to yourself. So, yeah, just be careful of people and situations right now. Yeah, I just feel that you just need to keep some things to yourself because, you know, you're moving, you're moving into a higher position in life. Yes, possibly in your uh, work or your field of work for those that are in that the work field uh, or businesses too. okay, entrepreneurs out there. What else? Oh, also this card is like peeking out. So let's take a look. Oh my gosh, this is so fitting. This is so fitting. I was actually see, seeing the King of Swords in that Emperor, but when, when, now we have the Queen of Swords. Brilliant experience. See, this is what this is why you're you're becoming very successful is because you're allowing your experience to give you so much wisdom, and it's making you just super intelligent you know not like not like you weren't intelligent before but anyhow we've got someone brilliant experienced humorous judgmental yeah see we we may need to just remain objective and release all judgments at this time right especially because remember we may need to just utilize compassion understand that other people just go through you know stuff and that's fine but look at this releasing situations or people that no longer serve you seeing the situation or excuse me seeing the humor in a difficult situations right and focusing on your career you could be you know dealing with or yourself divorce or unmarried in individuals you could also be dealing with someone of legal law you know something like that a professional possibly here but i do get this you know about you really being in a place of um, I don't know. There, there's, there's, there's a lot of, you know, with this queen of swords, actually, there's, a, there's a lot of situations that's blooming around her. It's blossoming here. She's thriving because she's using her experience. Okay. So don't be afraid to detach right from things or situation that no longer serve you. And this is why you know, Archangel Michael is also coming through to just give you, you know, again, that strength here. This is why there's this aspect of you embodying this Queen of Swords, whether you're male or female, so that you can 
it's it's not you're not repressing your emotions you're you're really you really are learning and experiencing from your past heartbreaks and challenges those adversaries it's all making you very strong wise and experienced here a, a professional yourself <laughs> okay let's see what else for Sagittarius Mm. you are going to have to be really aware of situations right now. I mean, we do have this darkness looms on the horizon. You know, I'm, you know, I know these kind of sound bad, like, ah! but the thing is, is there's something about you uh, being in the position of the queen of swords. And if you notice with the queen of swords, she's brilliant. And there's, um, it's all sun and clear. There's not even a cloud in the sky. So don't be afraid to go through some type of void or what seems like darkness because you are the light. You really are the light. You are illuminating something here. So heed messengers, pay attention to things or situation that, you know, don't don't vibe with you in a right way here, okay? Cuz you are being guided through darkness or a period of what seems like darkness. I'll get a little bit more too with this raven spirit. Give us more with this for Sagittarius. Look at this Sagittarius. I told you this is so awesome. Look at this, the shield. You are safe from harm. Just be aware, you know, of your surroundings and these things, right? You're approaching things from a, a standpoint of being strong, objective, fair-minded, right? <laughs> because you're focused on, you know, goals and things that you're succeeding at. And there's something about also your secrets are safe something maybe about money or business plans like that okay what else Go within and find your inner peace. Problems resolve when you listen to your inner self. You are full of love. Now share it with another. Okay, so we may be, see, we're going to be meeting someone here. So open yourself to share it with another. Okay, uh, I do feel that this darkness thing, jealousy, beware of who you trust. This is an energy you've already dealt with. You, you, you know this. <laughs> Anyhow. You're going within to uh, resolve problems. And then let's look at this. Have compassion for another. You know, I was already talking about that. Because it's not your job or anyone's job really to make one happy, right? That's, 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 one, that's one self's job here. So you can only do what you can do. You could, you know, give what you can. But um, yeah. Just have compassion for another. Stay focused on the things that are growing and important in your life. Go outside among nature. Ground yourself and center your soul. Okay, look at where a Queen of Swords is sitting too. She's out, out in nature. You know, look at all the like flowers. So there could be something about garden, flowers. But yeah, and it seems like she's getting some fresh air, right? something to calm her mind, her spirit with, and to stay focused on the task at hand because she's got a lot of awareness. So this is the thing that, that's really cool is this is why this darkness looms on the horizon isn't so scary because you've got this experience. You can see, like you see it way ahead of time here or you know how to navigate through it. Or avoid it. <laughs> and yeah, there could be, I don't know, I just see like Medusa as this like female energy and the queen or, I mean, it could be 
male or female, but you know, someone could have been really just nasty here or just uh, spiteful, possibly. Okay, what else? Use your skills to aid others. So if you've been questioning whether you're capable of aiding or counseling or whatever it is that you're, you know, feeling guided and experienced to do, do it. Use your skills to aid others because there is something here about, you know, experience, brilliance, humorous. Uh, also, there was something uh, about, I thought, oh, focusing on career or focusing on your skills. You know, there's like something about, you know, this assistance, right? Being of assistance here that's really playing uh, blessings or playing out and accumulating for you blessings. Because I see this as a will of fortune too. So let's continue and see what else comes out. And notice all the beautiful blue butterflies that are in the chair there and on her sword. So that's what you need to focus on because look at this. It's like this raven spirit is carrying some type of, it's like this is like moon energy because it's like this uh, transformation has taken place with you and the revealing is a place where, yes, where you can have peace <laughs> prevails you know, you can shine your light because look at all that sunlight that's around this queen. Look at this. You are a special person. You do make a difference. Use your skill to aid others. What? I mean... Life is too short. Focus on what you can achieve and not what you haven't. And that's what the Queen of Swords is doing. Look at her. She's looking into the future. She's looking at what she can achieve and what she has achieved. Becoming more experienced and wise. What else? A close friend acts on your behalf. Just take some time to have a little fun too. I feel that there's going to be a situation for you to have like have fun with a friend here. We have revelry and indulgence. So there may be some uh, a situation where you're just, you know, having listened to music, uh, connecting with another or others. And remember this whole thing about you being safe from harm. Get the strong protector here. Some of you said Sherius may be dealing with uh, Scorpio, or you could be, or you may even have Scorpio placements in your chart. You may resonate with Scorpio's reading in this series, but anyhow, trust that the heavens above is helping you with situations and circumstances to feel protected, supported, and look at this, a close friend acts on your behalf something going on here that sword i'm telling you archangel michael and also i'm sensing uh someone here that embodies um earth placement energy here so it's got like taurus virgo capricorn you know they could you know obviously we're all made up of a lot of different signs but I'm picking up um like a knight of pentacles here on your path okay so it's a, it's a good uh, friend. It would be someone that is uh, stable. And I get something about, so take it if it resonates, because I, I don't know if it's going to resonate for all of you, but there, there could be something about, I just heard comic relief, but there could be someone about a comedian or jokes or just, um, you know, being witty and just laughing. So there could be uh, conversations going on that are really stimulating and humorous. Okay, so also Sagittarius, just try to look at the lighter side of things and, and see things and laugh at things. I know it's not so fun uh, what you've been going through or dealing with, especially with these cards over here, but 
um, you know, you're, you're going to be shown the way here to a situation where you can give your attention to what else? Honor and good luck. This is what you're creating in your life is respect, honor, good luck. I feel you're teaching people how to treat you. And here you are just up leveling in life. You got the world in your hand. You do make a difference. So there's something about you having this reli a reliable path, you know, creating a, a, a really good reputation for the most part that I can see too. What else? The end of challenging times. Yes, good. <laughs> Six of Swords, because you are moving on to better uh, times, especially if things have been really dark and cloudy there with that, that dark storm clouds and you're going to that clear, right? And here you are, clear. The end of challenging times, things looking up, a welcome relief, finding your way to a peaceful place. Yes. And the end of depression or illness, there could be travel or relocation. So take what resonates. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Yeah, you could find yourself, you know, getting out more too, just doing some fun things, you know, going into the unknown, but going with grace, having fun, maybe part having a little celebration. <laughs> what else? You are in control of your own destiny. And I don't know, I was kind of seeing the wheel of fortune for some reason through this card. And that's like the wheel of destiny here. So that, and this is exactly what I see you guys doing. I mean, look at the emperor came out. Well, the king came out here. So it's like, yeah, you, you are very powerful. So it's, yeah, right. Just a reminder of how much you are in control of your own destiny. And here you are with your skills, your wisdom, your experience, shaping and carving out your future reality. What else? Okay. This card wants to come out here. Now we got the King of Swords. Whoa. Whoa, this is like counterpart of here. Let's see, brilliant. Oh, and, and okay, intelligent, impartial, respected, stoic, receiving wise advice. So there's something about you receiving wise advice, information too, that's gonna help give you a lot of clarity and guidance, okay? So there is, there's something about you coming into this position of having the final say or de decision we definitely could be dealing with, you know, this won't resonate for all of you, but you could definitely be dealing with like another divorced person here or someone that's been separated. Anyhow, receiving wise advice, remain objective and fair minded, public speaking, communicate clearly, unemotional relationships or being emotionally unavailable. Hmm. Hmm. I feel that there is something that you are being guided to be not emotionally available for something because, right, jealousy leads to downfall. So the king is not going to give in to the BS. I mean, he's bored with those games. I mean, look at his face. He's bored with those kind of games. It's like, really? Come on, give me something. Give me something else to work with here. Because they can see it. Both the king and the queen can see it. Remain objective and remain true here too and trust. And if you need a little bit more time, give yourself more time to um, make sure that you're listening or gaining as much information, hearing all sides of a situation as well, right? I want a little bit more too with the King of Swords for Sagittarius. want Sagittarius to know when it comes to this King of Swords? Planning for the long term, abundance from past choices, pride in the success of your labors. Be patient. 
as you decide what's next, see, it's all about a final decision, being very clear, and all of your past efforts. I mean, wow, you're really showing up, you know, in high positions here, Sagittarius. So, you know, you're not, you're not uh, BS in here, okay? So, you know, you've got experience. And also I'm seeing that there could be a really fun person on the horizon here, okay? Someone that has experience, can, uh, you know, you could have a lot of converse, good conversations with, adventure with. They can embody uh, air or fire sign, you know, both of those. So abundance from past choices, pride in the success of your labors, be patient. Oh yeah, I already said that. Be patient as you decide what's next. Okay, and I, I think I was already talking about that, you know, take your time if you need to, to gain all the information that you, you, you know, that's coming your way to help guide you. What else? Yeah, you got, you, you got something going on here that we, woo, we got to take a step back because something, something's going on with that cloud here. So don't, don't do anything uh, too impulsively or quickly here. Don't react in a way that, you know, you could regret, right? We may just need a little bit more time to get some dreams or ideas into, um, you know, good and real actions. Now, some of you, you could be in a place, not all of you, but some of you could be in a place with this imagination clouds your judgment where, we're just focusing on the wrong things. We're making something bigger than it really needs to be. And we're not seeing other things that are going on. And you need to be careful because we got something that you need to be aware of. Be careful of people or influences that are confusing you, especially when it comes to your career path, your goal path, you know, things that are becoming or growing in your life that are successful. What else? Mystic circle, your abilities will be enhanced. Your abilities, your skills. This, remember I was saying how you're showing up as the king and queen or yeah, an emperor here. It's very high positions. So take your time because your abilities will be enhanced. And I just see you guys having this place where freedom, mental freedom, emotional freedom, right? Just feeling freedom, feeling very in charge of one's life, destiny, very in control. You have what it takes to succeed. N never forget you are destined to succeed. Period. Okay. This, there's not no negotiating your success here. <laughs> not at this table. What else? Bright new prospects are on the horizon and we have serendipity. Look at the butterflies or maybe something with butterflies in you right now, Sagittarius. So yeah, pay attention. I mean, your, your transformation is beautiful. You're ready to fly. You're ready to fly with other, other uh, excuse me, other butterflies as well. Okay, because when you talk to other butterflies, it's nice. They're not this. <laughs> You know, they're there to listen and be supportive, right? Because we all, we, you know, it, it's, again, you speak the same language, right? We don't speak the same language over here. No, no, no. So this is really nice for you to look forward to. And that's that three of wands too. What else? A new relationship blossoms. I'm seeing you going out having fun here, connecting. I mean, you know, in indulging, doing fun things, whatever. New relationship blossoms. Seek a union of mind and spirit. I feel that there's a lot going on in the mind. And so remember how strong you are by focusing on your inner strengths, on your strength with spirit, higher forces, okay? Your higher self. Just believe and rely on something because I feel that you've been doing a lot of work and it's time for you to enjoy some good times here. Allow yourself to fall in love or open up to a situation that makes you happy, okay? 
Have fun? <laughs> I feel like you could be getting dolled up. It's almost, I don't know, I'm getting like a Cinderella story here in a way or in a sense like, I don't know. She's all dolled up. He or she, whatever. Okay. But I don't know how I would say it for the guys. But anyhow, let's see. <laughs> what else for Sagittarius? I'm getting all handsome up or something. Ooh, ooh, the hand of fate. Ooh, forces beyond your control intervene. Oh, 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 because why you're, uh, because you're, you need to be protected first off because your abilities are being enhanced. You're going towards success. It's like, no wonder you need to be protected. Let's get more too, because there's something going on here, right? Uh, about, um, you being safe from harm or people that want to, you know, be negative. So let's get more. What spirit will give us with this hand of fate? There could be something with, you know, palm reading or something like that for some of you. I've always wanted to have my palm read. Okay. Woo. Ooh, <laughs> I like what's going on. You're getting all these fun cards. I love it. You're getting like my favorite cards, <laughs> the black cat. Look at this. Your luck will soon change. Forces beyond your control intervene for you. Because I, I, I get this cosmic balance of like justice for you, right? This is why you don't want to give in to something, you know, I was going to give in to something that, you know, could be stupid, right? Because this is like someone may be playing stupid games here. Right. Uh, and speaking of justice, right? So someone gets to play a stupid game. They get to win a stupid prize. Let them get their prize. Okay. Your prize is happiness, safety, fun, you know, finally connecting with one. That, because look, I, I, I think you've been bored in a situation, actually, to tell you the truth, something or someone, it just hasn't been... It's just like more to a situation for you than, you know, other, you know, what others might see as important to you. I feel there's something about really deep intellectual conversations. Like that's what, you know, gets you passionate and also, you know, action and confidence movement. But mo most importantly, having these conversations where you get to one another at least, or you're open to, hearing another one out in a way that is very uh, powerful. You know, we have great listeners, I feel, here too. What else? Long journey brings rewards. You got the stars. You're destined to succeed. So... Plan for your future, right? Plan for the long term. If you if you don't know, and maybe for some, you don't want to go too far in the long term because that could just add a lot more stress. So just deal with what you can. I mean, if it's one month, go, go one month. But, you know, at least go out one year, two year, three year, whatever. You know, plan. But if you, you know, we're depending on where you're at and how comfortable you are, yeah, start planning for the long term, right? Things that are meaningful, that you value, that you want to keep around, that you want to see grow or change, right? It's up to you because you're in control of your destiny. What else? Do not live in the past. Look forward to the future and rejoice in the journey ahead. I get three of cups. This is why this revel revelry and indulgence is coming. I'm just, you're like going to have fun. Like you're going to celebrate in some way, okay, it doesn't have to be too big or neither too small, I don't know, but just sense you just rejoicing, having fun, being happy, feeling that sense of freedom or just feeling like more powerful and, and, and more inspired and becoming more inspirational for others too. That's going to help you motivate others too to move on and... and you know, pursue their dreams and their aspirations, right? Because you're not living in the past. What else for Sagittarius? 
that barrier that's keeping you from a goal <laughs> is because of those forces that are out of your control. Take a step back. You, you might be trying to force something that's, tr you know, that's not, the timing is just not right, right? We, there are just some things, yes, you're in control of your own destiny, but there are, there are certain components and there's, you know, certain things that we have to respect because different things show up at different times. And also we could be forcing an idea or a person to fit a mold when we just need to take a step back and just feel what it would feel like to be in this energy of whatever it is, right? And just be that. That's going to help you feel more fluid here. And you're going to see that there is a possible blessing here with some type of uh, barrier that has kept you from a goal. Because you have been going through a, a situation where you've been protected through a time of transformation. And we might be trying to force something too quickly or open those that door too, too quickly. Okay, let's get a little bit more too um, with that gate. With that bear, what's this card coming out? The dreamer and then this. You've got something going on here about love too. Is there going to be anything else with that? You got something about partnership, love, resurgence of love or romantic feelings, romantic relationships, uh, forgiveness, endings of challenges. Okay, hold on. Let's get a little bit more too with this because see you're... It's like you're, you're going into an, another direction. It's okay. This is so weird. It's almost like you're trying to go through the gate, but there's this door here. <laughs> it's like the cosmic door has opened for you. A new start. Trust yourself. That, I know that can be hard, right, to trust yourself, but you've got to. I mean, if you don't trust yourself, how are you going to trust another you got to trust yourself. Work on that, right? Trust your decisions. Trust in your ability to make good choices here. Push your fears aside. you got more than what it takes to push your fears aside because you've done it before. I know you have. And take a leap of faith because there is something about you taking a leap with uh, faith where, look at heaven's angel has got you hooked up here with someone. Friend, love, it doesn't matter. There, it's something that's harmonious and something that is really healing for you there, there could be something about roses or smelling some type of fragrance in the air like i know it's like love is in the air that's what i'm getting oh i was getting another card too with this uh gate so i want to get another card this barrier keeps you from your goal those cards came out here <laughs> an exciting windfall Oh, it's something about the past here. And also, look at all the butterflies. Again with the butterflies. So let's see. Because there's another path. There's a better way. There's a solid way. Look at this. A windfall of abundance, wise counsel, uh, or good fortune. An exciting career opportunity or an up-leveling in your career opportunity. More money. Whatever. Okay. Lucrative contract. Significant purchases like a home or a vehicle. Now, I can see that there are, okay, 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 okay. I can see this. I can see this. I can see some of you guys might be a little impatient or irritated, especially if you were trying to get a car or a home or some type of major thing here or commitment, whatever. Remember, God has a plan for you for the right time, right? So we don't want to force something when it's not the right time because when we, when we force something that's not on divine's time, it, it, it either becomes a false start or it doesn't last, you know, the way that we need it to. So, um, again, there's something about flowers, like something fragrant, air, I don't know. Okay, anyhow, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I do see, regardless, there's this situation where I was getting Will of Fortune. There is... It doesn't matter. It's like either way, even with one, one thing being blocked, there's it's, you're going to get it. You're going to get that goal. You're going to get that thing here. So be open to getting around an obstacle, getting over an obstacle, right? There's going to be some type of obstacle removed out of your way because if one thing is blocked, it doesn't mean it's not going to happen. There's just something better.
let's talk about this two of cups we got uh, cancer pisces scorpio we got aries coming through here we've got a falling in love or the resurgence of romantic relationship forgiveness and the ending of challenges yeah you got that see for sure and i do see something about a significant partnership I mean, we do have the king and the queen of swords here so we got the same suit going on here and also what does this say exchanging gifts don't give up on people you love okay because some of you could be tested by some you know give give some people some time because you know even when people are triggered by jealousy or they're doing something time can heal time can give people wisdom as well so but for the time being you just you need to be very powerful in your position it's like you 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 just like libra need to you know establish what was their title something about boundaries like yeah it's a must now boundaries are an absolute must for you right now logic perspect uh, pers uh perceptive be very perspective or perceptive there's something about having a watchful eye, right? Because there was something about, um, you know, you're safe from harm, but also, you know, something about people, right? Jealousy, beware of who you trust. Because we could have something, you know, about, you know, if you don't want things to be spread or, you know, keep some things to yourself or, you know, maybe prying eyes here. But anyhow, brilliant insights, information that you need, but might be challenging to receive. Review all documents very carefully. Yeah, there could there's something about contracts and reviewing documents carefully. You know, we don't we may not want to do anything foolish as well. So if you don't know or understand contracts or documents for those that resonate with that, because it won't for everyone. Seek out a professional or someone that knows what they're doing and reading. Uh, they can give you advice about that. Okay. But there's something about, um, there's, some, there's something strong here about not putting the pa your past experiences on a new experience, right? Even if it's something about a resurgence of love or forgiveness in a situation, we just really want to keep the past in the, in the past here. But for a lot of you, expect someone new to pop up in your life here. Okay, what else? Yeah, I feel that you got to be strong here. Jealousy leads to downfall. Conflict and uh, danger lie in wait if we react in the wrong way. There's something about you being, you know, keep your, uh, you know, there's something about being aware here. Perceptive right? Discern wisely. Let's get a little bit more with the dagger. What do you want Sagittarius to know about the dagger? Don't focus on the, don't focus on the negative or negative people right now. Don't, and also watch out for any negative self-talk or thinking too. Also watch out for, you know, comparing yourself to others or feeling a lack of something. Okay. Because it's, it's, there's something important that's happening with magic in your life. You're safe from harm. Don't give any more time or attention to things that, you know, we don't, you know, you don't, you don't need to make it, you know, again, bigger than it really needs to be. Magic is alive in your life. What you need to be a success will manifest. If you believe it, you can do it. You have to just stay focused and disciplined, stay strong. And also I'm seeing the ace of swords actually with this dagger, which is, um, you know, having a breakthrough, having clarity, coming up with a solution for some of you guys, but most importantly, taking action, being able to conquer something. It will take mental concentration. There's something with this, I'm seeing Ace of Swords, something that is, you know, telling you to focus. Don't let things, you know, slide by. You've got to remain focused and strong. What else? You're going to be receiving some news and your surroundings will go under transition. That's that Ace of Swords too. Okay. 
news, information, something healing. You will receive news from afar. We've got the caduceus. Expect good and positive news. It gets things moving. Don't get, uh, don't get disturbed if things starts changing because remember there's some type of, with that skull, there's some type of transformation, transition that's taking place. Yeah, your surroundings will go under transition. This is you, transition in that boat. What else? Okay, that's it for those. So Sagittarius, let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future. What does Sagittarius have to look forward to in the near future? The forces of nature favor you. Oh my gosh. You got a lot of that. A close friend acts on your behalf. And when I see this card, it's telling me that there is a spirit, a spirit guide that God has created for you. Pay attention to the, the people, situations, and, you know, your guardian angels that are surrounding you. Because what you have to look forward to in the near future is the forces of nature favoring you because you're going through some type of transition. Because you're destined to succeed. You might find yourself, for some of you, playing a whole different role in life. An upgrade in life. Absolutely. Let's find out how spirit is currently helping you. spirit currently helping Sagittarius oh family anything to do with family healing love contentment man marriage I mean it's good here with the ten of cups so take what resonates for you a happy marriage happily ever after emotional contentment a loving relationship with your children raising children wisely and successfully so take that if it resonates. People you can trust. Right? So it's going to be worth the changes here. And what's good is you even have this thing where you had to be aware of who you trust to get to the place where you can trust and love. So I hope that was helpful. Love and light.